64 HTML. How to do this? So here you need to write data is 64 and then you need to type this. So just copy this out, go to the project file and paste this out here and then we need to remove this so this thing right move this thing and then we need to add this out here mm -hmm. yes remove this and uh, cut this out and paste it here save this one and give it a refresh and uh, still it's giving it something here but uh, it's playing like we have some invalid path no okay guys so i figured out that how to do this so here i'm on the official website of simple software you are good so here you need to copy this out here maybe i'm doing some mistake i'm not uh, uh, writing it properly so I need to add this image tag here, right? And uh, we go to the project here, just enter this out, and then yes, yeah, so go back here into this, yes, and we need to add this string here. Just cut this out, add this here, save this one, go back and give it a refresh. And we are unable to add this out. Maybe I'm missing again, missing something. Base 64 for me to let me a QR code. And then I need to. Okay. Uh, QR code. Okay. And uh, here I'm permitting this out, generating the QR code. And sorry, I forgot to add this base 64 again, right? So here, you need to add this into the base 64. So, and then you need to add this bracket at the end of this. And this here, right? Save this one and go back and give it a refresh. And yes, now we have generated a PNG format to image, right? I go ahead and I can open this into the new tab, right? And in this way, we learned that how to generate this image and now time to save this into the into our application, right? So let's uh, come back to our client and here we have generated this image and now we need to uh, save this with the unique name. That's why we added this time. So we'll convert the time into the integer permit and then it's adding this uh, path and then you can add this like this, right? So let's go here and uh, add this out like okay go back generate the qr code it's not converting into the base 64 it's just to uh, putting this same and then um, putting this out in the project right uh, but here we are doing this so uh, to display this out right so just go here and type this so uh, I go in the controller. We can also do this in the controller, same thing. Okay, let me think about this that we need to add this out, right? So basically, we are generating this into here. So now just to go there and go to your project tree. Okay, so here we are displaying this out. So let me. Um, comment this out and I'm going to my controller QR code controller right and here I'm going to generate this and save this into the database so let's go here like route to generate to QR code okay and then QR code controller plus generate QR code they okay, also assign this some name generate code or QR code. Copy this out, go to this controller and create this method instantly. 
public function qr code okay here i'm going to generate this qr code right so as it's mentioned here we need to generate this like this right you can generate this out and uh, uh, now we need to uh, first generate this qr code and then i'm going to do it here right so we need to copy the same thing i'm going to copy this out all of the things and i will remove uh, things from there uh, you can use this for me png i don't want to merge this out size and i don't want to add this error simple qr code yes later i will add this so unique username output name image slash qr code so actually this one is our directory where it will be stored I'm going to move this so uh, image and uh, then add this icon and then uh, add the time like this in the integer format, right? And then image name, out by name, and then this would be the image which will store in the database, right? So let me add this storage at the top, storage disk uh, local. You can add this into the public, it will store into the uh, into the public slash uh, app slash public directory and let me identify it properly okay and uh, let's remove this comment right and if i go here and by this return success save this one and uh, go here and type uh, generate to qr code okay success and if i go here and type this like uh, uh, storage app public and in the public we have image and here we have this qr code right we are successfully able to store this qr code okay and um, uh, now we uh, store this qr code and uh, i want to apply this so uh, uh, i want to basically add this into the um, into my view file and then i will uh, add this uh, and then i will add this into the pdf file right i will do this in the next video and uh, don't forget to check out next video